Hey guys, welcome to another Let's Take It Apart video, and today we are going to be doing one of my bigger projects, and I'm really excited about it, so we'll get right into it. Here you're looking at a stripped motherboard. It has literally nothing except the RAM, which I'll explain why I kept that later. But this is one of the only working motherboards I have from an old computer, because most of the old computers are fried. But basically, we're going to be building our own PC. So you start with the, one of the main components, which is the CPU, which is very important, does all the processing if you don't know what that is. So here's the one I'm using. It's a Core i3. So it's old but decently powerful. Oh, it's the best one I have. And we didn't buy any of these parts. So keep in mind that this is all just from old computers that people were going to throw away. So we can go ahead and put it right there. And then you have to go ahead and use a screwdriver to lock it. So we can just twist it. And there you go. It's pretty much like the computer's brain. I find it hard to believe that that small chip compared to all the big stuff is the most important part. But, I mean, they all play a vital role in everything. But, uh, so that's the RAM. And why we didn't replace it was because the motherboard actually did come with some really good RAM. And... There's no need to replace it. I mean, I have some other RAM, but it wasn't as good, actually. So next, let's go ahead and put on the cooling system. So uh, not like we're going to water cool it or anything. If you don't know what that means, it's just like water goes up to the surface and cools it down. But we just have this old fan. <laughs> but we can go ahead and screw it in. And then uh, we will actually have to add the real fan. So what this does is... It's over the CPU, because like I said, that's the part that processes all the data, so it gets very hot. So basically, all the heat goes into that metal and goes all the way to the end. And then um, this fan right here blows it out through those fins, which is what you would see if the computer was put together. And that's where all the heat goes. So it's pretty cool how it works, how it transfers the heat, and how the actual fan just isn't sitting on top of it. But uh, we got to flip it over to plug in the fan to the system. So yeah, so I've been running to do this project for a while, but we haven't had enough parts. But uh, I finally got parts that all work, that are good. And most of the time the problem was that they weren't compatible with each other. But doing it this way, we did. So if you guys are trying to build your own PC or make parts and you ever need any questions or it doesn't look like mine, just comment it down and I can always help. Uh, maybe send me a few pictures or something like that. So this is not a uh, necessity, but it's a CD player, and the motherboard has a port for one, and uh, even though that's kind of old-fashioned, we'll just plug it in there, uh, maybe make a video about using it or something. I have made a few CDs just for fun, but uh, yeah, there you go, just plug it in pretty easy. It is the one from the yesterday video that has the light scribe. Um, well, not yesterday, you know, the first video a few days ago now, but um, if you watch that video, cool, and here's a hard drive we're using. Now, the only thing I did do so far is take that hard drive and download Windows 10 Premium, and uh, it used to be Windows 7, I think, so we got the nicer one, and then we just, like, downloaded Roblox on it, which you can see we'll play, uh, if you know our uh, gaming channel, IDK Gaming, it'll be kind of cool to see me playing on this computer. <laughs> but there we go. Now that we got the hard drive plugged in, we have most of the necessities, but definitely uh, not all of them. So next thing, again, not the most necessary, but speakers for sound. Now, if you're using, like, a, if you're plugging this into a TV, it might have speakers, but these are some really nice speakers I found from an old computer, and for some reason, they used to have these really nice ones. But uh, these, we've already tried them out, and they're really nice sounding. But I will be using a TV, and mine has an HDMI outlet, so we can just plug that into the TV through there. But it did have a monitor. I'm just not using it because it's smaller. So uh, next is some USB-A ports, and uh, that was just for my wireless mouse, but now you can see them. So we can go ahead and plug that in. I think it goes, no, not right there. I think it's over here. Yeah, here. Move that and go ahead and plug it in here. And uh, it can definitely be a little difficult. 
Uh, almost. Okay, guys, we got them plugged in, and as you can see on the other side, we also plugged in some lights, which is just mainly for looks to tell us if the computer's on or not, but uh, we got the mouse plugged in. Here's the mouse we're using. It's my gaming mouse. So everything in this computer is old and taken from except the mouse. I don't have the mouse, so I just used my nice gaming one. But this is the keyboard, and this is actually old and salvaged. So we'll be using that. You can see the keyboard right in this perspective. But the last very essential thing that I forgot to mention is the Wi-Fi chip. And a lot of people don't think about this or even know, but basically this is what supplies the Wi-Fi. And uh, it's basically a little chip that can read it and then an antenna. So don't want to forget that, else we won't have any Wi-Fi. And uh, these days, Wi-Fi and Internet is pretty necessary part. But uh, now we can get the mouse and keyboard, and looks a little messy, a lot of cables, but overall, we're pretty much all good. You can, As you can see, I got a little second hard drive plugged in just for some more storage. Um, here's the fan. You can see a little, that's the Transend hard drive. Uh, we just plugged that in there for a little more storage in case we ever need it. But here's the power cable. Um, that's very important <laughs> if you want to power it. Mine did have a battery, but we don't need the battery so can go ahead and over here my xbox hdmi cable i can just unplug here and we can just bring it over here and plug it in so just showing you guys that this is what's supplying to the tv and it's not like the tv brains or anything okay we can go ahead and just snap that right in and there we go i think we are done um, the only thing I didn't show on the camera was the power button, and it's actually not a power button because I broke it, but I found a trackpad with the same end, so we can plug that into the power. You'll see that closer in a second. But I think it's finally time, guys. Okay, so as you can see on the TV, there's no signal right now because the computer isn't turned on, and it's on the HDM2 Xbox, HDMI 2 Xbox, and, um... Now we can go ahead and plug this in. So grab that and grab this. And uh, be careful, you don't want to get electrocuted. Now, if this is from a laptop, you're good. But if it is from a desktop, it uses a different type of power. I can't remember its specific name at a point, but it will electrocute you if you touch it. And I have done that countless times. This one, still be careful, but it won't do it as much. Um, why isn't it turning? on um maybe just a few more clicks okay guys we unplugged it and replugged it and i guess that's all it needed hopefully <laughs> so we'll click that oh that's i think that's the wrong button we'll try this one. Oh, i don't know if you could see but the fan just turned on and um if you go to those lights that we got on you can see in a second oh it just flashed Maybe it'll come on in a second. Okay, so it no longer says no signal. Um, we got a little white dot. <laughs> Maybe not the best sign. That would just stay there if you didn't have anything downloaded in the hard drive. But now we can see the Windows logo, which means it is booting up. And as you can see, the lights are now on. And uh, this is very exciting. This is the first time I turned it on, actually. Not like we had any free trials. But, uh... Now it's just gonna gonna load there. So um, it is a relatively like you can get it to go pretty fast, but keep in mind this is old computer parts salvaged together. There's only so much you can do, and especially the startup time is just gonna take a very, 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 very long time. And it also has updates to do, which will take an even longer time. One eternity later. Okay, guys, look at this. Boom. We got the Windows home screen. And uh, it's not the correct time, but that is okay. And other than that, it I mean, it has the correct date, so that's good, I guess. But we can go down and click. And there we go, guys. Um, 
just gonna take a second hopefully but we typed in our password and now for the moment of truth will it work we got a mouse that's a good sign and there it is guys and as you can see we have no actual applications yet because it takes a while to load in looks like we got the ones that are pinned you can see the roblox that i downloaded but uh yep so i just want to try to prove to you guys that this is coming from the computer this pile of circuits and uh cords i know it's uh hard to imagine but there's the monitor like i said that has the wi-fi cord on it and uh so real quick we'll just join roblox to prove to you guys that yes we built a computer that can play roblox that's pretty cool so here's my account we're all logged in as you can see and we can uh we can go ahead and join jailbreak my favorite game uh we do most of our videos in jailbreak and idk gaming if you haven't seen that channel yet go check it out i'm sure most of you have though because that's probably where you found this channel but um just wait for it to load now uh you may notice it won't look as good as it does normally when i play on my account channel and uh that's because you know obviously normally i play on a a uh, mac but have the graphics quality all the way up normally but on here we're gonna have it all the way down okay we're a little frozen here so obviously you shouldn't expect a masterpiece unless you buy nice parts but the fact that we even loaded into jailbreak which is one of the most uh high graphics is really insane and high cpu as you can see our cpu is around uh 90 percent and uh sure we're a little laggy but yeah we can do it so you can see i'm typing i'm playing an old pc i vote from parts we can hit enter wait for the five second delay and uh yeah there it is okay it went away but it hasn't gone in the chat yet we're probably so laggy and there it goes but now i'll show you guys this cool application called prime 95 and what this does is it makes the cpu have all the stress so I just made it all of it. So now the RAM and CPU are going super fast at their highest. As, I don't know if you can see this, but the fan and the camera, but the fan is spinning super fast. And it's been running this for about 10 minutes. And uh, you can see CPU right there, 99%. RAM's at 96%. But uh, look at that, just really straining it. So what this is supposed to do, like if your system crashed, there could be something wrong or if it overheated or something like that. It's been about 10 minutes. I've run it for longer before, and it's been fine. Um, system's a little warm, but not, like, hot, like, burning or anything. Fan's doing a great job. And though the fan is kind of noisy, I mean, it's essential. And uh, make sure to comment if you guys want me to make a video on me doing anything else with this computer. Like, what do you want me to do with it, you know? Um, if you want me to try to use a bigger fan to cool it down. Also, vote for the next video if you guys want a number one see what's inside a monitor and it's not just lights number two see what happens when you take a take a cpu which is like i said is the main brain from the computer out why it's still running will it work will it half work will it shut down we'll see so vote your comments and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to sub if it did it really helps me out a lot we'll be coming out with tons of new content like and uh comment like i said all that stuff and so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about anything again just comment and this is let's take it apart and i'll see you guys next time